we're going to talk about how to avoid that inventory placement fee. I see on the Seller Central message boards, a lot of sellers are now complaining about that. It uh, went into effect March 1st, and there are ways for you to avoid it. Now, if you submit your plans through an API like Inventory Lab or other software, you need to make sure your settings are correct in Seller Central to avoid this inventory placement fee. From what I understand, this is really adversely affecting a lot of sellers who are selling low priced items because of course, if you're selling something for $9, $10 and Amazon's gonna charge you now a 30 or 40 cent fee, that's 4% of your margins right there. If you're running 10%, 12% uh, margins on items like that, wow, you just lost a third, uh, a half of your margins just on this uh, inventory placement fee. That's why it's now important to adjust the setting and let's go into it. So here's just the overview. If you're working with one pound or less, you want all of your items to go to one warehouse, they're gonna surcharge you 30 cents, one to two pounds, 40 cents, and so on. If you got something oversized and over five pounds, that's $1.30. So pretty substantial increases in costs for all sellers in the United States sending items to FBA. So again, how do we fix that? So you wanna go to Seller Central. We're in my uh, inbound shipping setting. I'm gonna show you how to get there right now. So what you're gonna do is go in the upper right-hand corner where that little, um, you know, <laughs> that little what is that rotor rotary thing up in the upper right hand corner and you're going to want to go to uh, fulfilled by Amazon so click on that and that's going to take you to this screen so then what you're going to want to do is go to your inbound setting is and here is even in inventory placement service fee for Amazon API's right so we can click edit there and here we are so right now my settings are parcel uh, shipment splits I created an LTL shipment and I didn't have any surcharges using this method, but if you want to try to completely eliminate the chance of these popping up, then you're going to want to choose this option, Amazon Optimized Shipment Splits, and hit update. And that's going to set it. Uh, so when you submit your shipping plans to Amazon API, your shipments uh, can get split up to four warehouses, uh, but you will no longer have the fee. Uh, you might want to experiment uh, first with the partial shipments and see what happens. If you are getting splits uh, or you're getting fees, then you know come back here into this section before you submit that shipment and give the Amazon optimized shipment splits a try. And that's how you resolve this right now uh, to avoid that extra fee. And again, this is really applicable to you guys selling items less than $20 and especially less than $10 when you know that can be four to 8% of uh, the margins on your product depending on the price. If you found this helpful, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time.